And we are back for another video here on Rad BMX Builds where I'm out in the garage and I am just impatiently waiting for the FedEx to arrive with another Rad bike. I got this bike on eBay. I got it at a really good price. If it shows up looking like it did in the photos with all the components that it was photographed with, I think this will be a screaming deal. This bike is 100% OG, down to the tires and everything, and I could not let it go when I saw it on eBay. I don't like buying a lot of stuff from eBay, but every now and then there's some good people selling some good bikes at some good prices. Just be careful and make sure you watch the scam video that I put out to make sure you're not getting scammed when buying bikes. Hopefully I didn't get scammed and we'll find out as soon as FedEx shows up and I'm gonna reveal the bike that I just bought. FedEx came while I was gone. So the bike was standing on end when I got here and it looks like this box took quite the beating in its trip across the US to get to where I am. So right from the beginning, you can see some pretty good tears. Holy Specifically holy. the axle sticking through. There's a lot of bowing on the box. So we're gonna get the razor blade out and cut this open and see how this box did. Okay, well I see some bubble wrap, so that's a good thing. There's a lot of empty space and some really terrible wrapping. Whoever I bought this from probably doesn't ship a lot of bikes. Okay, I got it all unwrapped and I gotta be honest with you, the bike's a little worse off than I thought when I bought it. It's taken apart in kind of a weird way to ship a bike. I know you wanna see it, right? Let me show you the bike first. Original GT tires, it's got the Tomahawks, GT brake pads, Odyssey brakes, GT seat clamp. So these are GT pedals and these are the cages that he took off. I don't know why he did that. These are even dyno grips. The bike's definitely in fairly rough condition. It's gonna need some restoration, which I'm not afraid to do. But here's what's cool. Actual GT fork standers, second gen. The original rear pegs, which is super cool. But you can see I got my work cut out for me. I want this to be the brother to my chrome and black component 87 GT performer and then I'm gonna add this bike to my collection. So let me just go ahead and put it together so we can see the entire bike. This is before cleaning it. When I'm done showing you this, I'm gonna take it outside, put some simple green to it, soap, water, whatever, and I'm gonna scrub and clean this bike up a bit. I might just leave it alone and not try to do a restoration. That goes against everything I like to do to some of these bikes, but it's just really cool to have such an original bike. Let's take a look. Okay, this is exactly how you would have got it from the bike shop to include the bike shop sticker right there. Ellisville, Missouri, Wheels West, St. Louis it says. And you can see these GT tires have seen better days, but they're holding air. The GT fork standers are in pretty good shape. Odyssey brakes, Odyssey gyro, a little bit of surface rust under here but that'll clean up. Decals are in pretty good shape with a couple little nicks. The pedals look like they've taken the brunt of it, but we always laid our bikes on their sides and that makes sense. Now this rear peg is a little rough on the end, but the pegs overall are in good shape. The peg over here, you can actually make out where it says dyno a little bit on it. The seat's in pretty good shape. It's not very rough at all. And the dyno's real clear on it. Also has the cap. If you know anything about these stems, this cap seems to go missing on a lot of them. It's exactly how you would have bought it and then just put it away and let it sit for a while. This is going to look really good next to my 87 Performer, but I'm going to go take it out. Uh, I'm going to clean it up a bit and then we're going to see what it looks like.
Okay, after a deep clean, could go a little deeper on the clean, but what I did replace is the seat post. The original one was straight, bent, and seriously corroded, but everything else I'm gonna keep just the way it is. I think it cleaned up really well. Fork standards came out amazing. All the dullness went away. There's still a little bit of surface rust under here that I'm gonna work on, but I think the bike came out great. So it's getting a little dark out. I think we're gonna wait and then take it out for you and get some good daytime footage of it so you can really see what it looks like in the sun. the 1990 dyno all complete it's not restored it's in its original condition I did order some brand new repop GT tires so I can daily ride this it has the stock GT tires on it and they just feel a little uncomfortable for me to daily ride something like that so I do want to take those off and preserve them put the repops on them so I can ride it daily I just think that makes a lot more sense now, like I said earlier, I did replace the seat post. I, it did have a straight seat post on it that was bent and heavily corroded. So I pulled that off and replaced it with another straight seat post. I added a few things to this 100% OG bike like donuts from Flight and a mushroom bearing cap, which I'll show you in a moment. Let's take a look at this 1990 Dino Detour. Okay, that sun really decided to pop out on us and I'm glad because I want to get some good still photos of this. Comment down below on what you think of this find that I got on eBay at an incredibly good price. So those buys are still out there. Okay, that's gonna do it for this episode on my 1990 Dino Detour. I hope you liked it. If you do, give me a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a rad week. Christmas is right around the corner. Grab yourself some merch and we'll see you in the next episode. And as always, stay rad.